So this video is actually coming off the back of my current search for a nice camera bag. I'm looking for something to put a little mirrorless camera with a medium sized lens attached and then space for maybe one other little medium small prime lens. But it got me thinking about what I carry around at the minute and the bags I use. Not that I'm saying an EDC is an inspired video, but I thought it would be fun to do one anyway. So let's jump straight into it. The bag that I typically use for a little city day out is the Charlie Burrow mini game bag, or small game bag, sorry. Um, this is just the most gorgeous bag. It is obviously handmade by Charlie down in London. Nude veg tan leather, which I just saw natural or bone. I've seen people call it other things. I only got this about six months ago, so it's still really nice and firm and tough, but it is obviously picking up a nice bit of patina as well. Anyway, that's the bag. So in there, I'm gonna have my phone, which is too big. It is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's huge, and to be honest, it's kind of too big. I was due an upgrade, and I thought it's not that much more, so sprung for the big one, and probably could have got away with a smaller one. The case, I would not recommend. I won't say who it is, but it's snapped already here. It's not the color they advertised on the website. It was supposed to be this gorgeous like matte cream, um, but it's just kind of like a, a beigey silver and it's very shiny, whereas it was supposed to be matte. But you know, better having it than not. So yeah, that's in the bag. Then I always like to have real pen and paper with me. I'm trying to get better at taking notes on my phone, but Pen and paper's just the best. So I've got this notepad, brand new one, because I just finished my other. Where I think this is recycled coffee cups. Uh, picked it up from Fred Aldous, which is recently over in Sheffield. Um, but yeah, recycled coffee cups is cool. I know GF Smith were doing a paper out of recycled coffee cups, so whether it's that or not. Pen is the Coeco Sport. Always really wanted the brass version of this, but it's quite expensive. And I unfortunately did snap the thread on this so the lid doesn't stay on very tight so i am reluctant to store this in a pocket or on its own in the bag so that sometimes doesn't go in just depending on how risky i'm feeling then we have keys so we have the campbell cole key holder this has seen years of daily use and is completely beat up i could try some contact adhesive just to put those back together but what i think i'm actually gonna do is try and stitch it around the edges. Just, you know, then it'll make it more mine, but it's more than done its job for the years that I'd expect. It's not like it's falling to pieces, it just kind of needs a little bit of love. So I'd like to repair that and keep it going, but for now, I just love the fact that that's it closed and that's it open. The fact that it keeps your keys from jingling in your bag and also means I can put them in my pocket when I don't want to take a bag, because I hate things in my pocket, especially if they jingle. Then I do keep the car key separate. It's an old car, so nothing fancy, but they're in there. They can clip on if I need to, but tend not to. Ah! Tend not to. What else do we have in here? There's the wallet, which is also Campbell Cole. I absolutely love this. Uh, I think this has been one of the best things I've ever got. I had it years, and I like the fact that it keeps my wallet smaller than it could be. I've had wallets in the past with coin pouches and coins do my head in. So I never take cash anywhere. Being able to keep it as slim as that is super important for me. Oh yeah, there's the Heckles hand cream. Heckles, if you haven't come across them, are a really cool skincare company based in Margate. Founded based basically using coastal produce, so seaweed's a big part of it. What have we got in here? The Ecomarine Hand Balm, Serrated Bladder Extract, Geranium, Clary Sage, Sea Lavender, and Rapeseed Oil. This is the best hand cream I've ever tried. Um, not that I've tried thousands of them, but you know, we've all had the Aesop one, which I love still, but this for me is just... Ah! Okay, lid's gone, but we'll do that in a bit. Um, yeah, just ace. And the packaging is also a little bit sturdier than the Aesop one, because I have seen in the past I've had my Aesop ones um, crack. Oh God, that smells good. Then we also have 
the sunglasses, which are cubits. Had these a few years as well now. And then other skin products is the Aesop SPF 50 because I burn quick. As soon as it's sunny, I am just like red. And I don't tan, I just burn. So always have my SPF 50 as soon as the sun's out. Boring one, I'm sure, but you know, still got to do it. Mask, which is the washable cotton one from Chapel Lane, linen, sorry, washable linen one from Chapel Lane Island. I bought this like in the first week when masks were mandated. These are great. We've got a couple of these. Then always take the little Fuji, the X100V. This camera is amazing. It is my little baby. I take it everywhere with me. It is so small. It just looks like a tiny little rangefinder, point and shoot type thing. No one's gonna really kick up too much of a fuss or wonder what you're doing, or just think you're snapping pictures, but the image quality is incredible and it's so much fun to use and it actually, it really makes me want to take photos. So yeah, when I'm out and about, this is just the one I grab and take with me and always a spare battery. One more thing that I pretty much always have with me is my hat, uh, the rain hat or sun hat or whatever you want it to be, but it just, rolls up and just goes in anywhere. It's like, it's one of the best 30 quids I've ever spent. It's got me out of many a sticky situation with the weather and with the sun as well, keeping that off me. So yeah, let's um, pack the bag. Uh, see, so we've got that in there, put a little hat down the side. Phone just slides in anywhere I can get it. Battery at the bottom, keys at the bottom once I've locked the door, other keys up there. Sunglasses again for fairly easy access. Wallet, sometimes I keep my wallet in my pocket um, as I'm, I'm just not a fan of things in pockets at all. So yeah, but I try and keep it in the bag just because I don't know where it is. There we go. But yeah, the camera I do either just sit in the top or keep on the strap around me anyway. That is my everyday carry in my favorite little everyday bag. Again, the idea here is just to highlight a few amazing makers uh, that I think you should check out if you are looking for something. What I don't want to encourage anyone to do is go out and buy something just because they think it's cool and they don't need it. Um, these are investments that should last you a long, long time. As proven by the wallet and the keychain and the bag, I know is just going to last forever. And obviously free repairs if there is any damage to it, which is cool. Love to hear that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think to my EDC. Is it too bulky? Is it too small? Is there anything I've forgotten? I'm not really a knife guy. I do carry one when we go hiking, but I know knives are big on EDC on here. As always, thanks so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Oh, there she is. Who's that? Look that way. Good girl. Mm. Bye.